really like it. They think it's a great counterpick to Corky, and other people are like, why are we playing this Lucian? So I think it's very good that Team Liquid are leaving it open as to whether or not it's going to APA or if it's going to be playing by Jans. But we're guessing it should be in the mid lane for the side of Team Liquid as they save R5 for the Talia, which uh, actually first time today that we're seeing the Talia, even though uh, it was pretty popular. But it is going to be APA hopping back onto this one himself. See Liquid Special. Yeah, see if he could uh, get some kind of reaction from the Fnatic guys. As soon as going to hook a minion and immediately Ouch. take a ton of damage. And suppression is lane, not just because you're trading, but you also have to remember that Team Liquid is uh, uh, last. Okay, they're just trying to kill you on here, and it might just work out. But now, one last auto on a two to his first blood to the Lucian of all players, as now Noah's alone. He's trying to get the kill on a core JJ. He's not even going to be able to kill the Nami. He can't even get the Nami. Okay, he hits level two, and now one last auto might do it. He does proc his barrier, <laughs> but now he has to flash away. And get a and massive lead oh, in no. this bottom lane. And now Umpty's here. Nobody's got flash. Nobody. And they think they're safe. They think they're the ones hiding as now flash comes in from Umpty. And June is almost 100% dead as the damage is coming in. Aftershock not going to save him. And Noah in a bit of trouble himself. Takes a huge chunk of damage. And Umpty, he just full cleared and went bot. I mean, it's pretty elementary as now Impact in a bit of trouble, but he will just flash away from that one. As now getting a little bit close to the sun, Razor trying to punish this one, gets a thumbs up. And from Jan and Core JJ not only have gotten a couple of kills to their names as well, but they have a massive freeze. Noah cannot farm in June. It's not even six minutes in as they're already going for Razor. Yeah, Razor gonna get caught here. The wall from the Talia is excellent. And now they don't quite have the damage though, as finally they do take him down. It's like a little bit iffy there as APA and Umpty were taking a huge amount of AoE damage from the way, but it's still going to be good for the side of Team Liquid. They get the pick onto the Kha'Zix. Broken, but what is, does he have 18 CS? Did I read that right? You know, I, I, I think that is true. I, it doesn't even surprise me, just the way it has been going. As this was like, all he gets is a thumbs up from Impact. Mm -hmm. And now, we got a dive on bot side. They know that Rezork is on the top side of the map, and Noah is just in a lot of trouble. Korte Day now, he will be traded Ooh. back, and now we get a second kill over to the side of Fnatic. And through all of that, it does look like Yun should at least be able to take down the plate. And, you know, the Corky, he's trying desperately to hit 30 CS at eight minutes into the game. And he doesn't really exist right now. So Hook is going to come in, but Crescent Guard, from the they had to push that one out. As now Oscar Inman does have impact under the turret, but a flash comes out. Feeling super hard into the game. And Fnatic trying to put a couple of them and get a little bit more gold in their pockets. Well, they're trying to go for core here, but he's just going to flash away. Noah does pick up the kill, and now Umpty in a little bit of a rough spot. Resort will go down to Yun, and now we got the Talia coming on in. Oh. Noah, he needs the kill, but he's not going to get it as Umpty will survive. As he yeah, now we got some plays oh, on the top goodbye. side core in a pretty rough spot. Uh, I really don't know what he was doing there. Fish are supposed to be in the river, right? That's exactly what their native habitat is. Mm -hmm. huh. Away. Well, what? Okay, that's just a uh, shutdown from Noah. It's a lot of gold that's gone right back on over towards Banana, potentially getting a bit too complacent. Well, trying to take a trade here is Oscar and in. No flash available for impact. He is going to throw down the equalizer. That is going to prevent Resort from getting in. As now, Will Proc BL does get in, but that shield oh. is enough to keep him alive. Just barely. Impact will survive. So Resort is just going to show himself Ooh. up on the top side alongside of June. Looking for APA. That's a very nice hook. And now the ult comes in. That is a very dead Talia eventually, and that's another shutdown going into the hands of Fnatic. Something yeah. they were getting a little bit more across the board. However, Impact might have to flash again. And that's about it. Oscar and didn't even look like he wanted to fight that. Impact's like, hey, let's fight again. I'm really low. Oscar and says, yes, sure. I, I can be difficult into the way, but if you don't have jungle priority, maybe, yeah, they're just going to poke him down. And now we got a wall as well just to push him out of the lane and secure this mid-tier one. Of the game goes down in about 15 minutes. Now looking for Noah. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Uh, very, very dead this time. The game is a lot easier when one of your opponents doesn't really get to play. And now Razor coming around. Umpty's right around the corner. Yeah, well, in the 1v1 should be fine. But now we got TP's coming in. We got June coming in as well. And Umpty, they're just going to leave him for dead. Not able to help him here as even Impact might be in a little bit of trouble. The Orn 
getting to work on a hand June with the flash all just to make 100% sure and with impact on no flash it will be eventually the kill going over to Oscar Rennan. Oh, so nice. Things are putting gold in the places that Team Liquid really don't want them to. And Humanoid, barely able to hold on to the strike. Yeah. Magnetized towards the action. Razork is there as well. Team Liquid might be fighting off more than they can chew. Yeah, June is going to be in an interesting spot, but like you mentioned, just trying to bait for this one core, getting pretty low as he will blast the rocket, and now we do have Resorc, and a massive equalizer going to hit everybody! Even the Humanoid has to back in, though! Divide does come through. Long time, but kind of staggered, stagnated on it for a while as that knockup is going to miss. Impact still in a lot of trouble here as Humanoid Putting in that damage will knock the ult. And now a double knockup comes in here in the 2v2. You see Jun, though, is going to be kited down. Some sniping, some help from Humanoid, but a lot of damage from Resorg as well. They're trying to get Yun, but he is going to dash away from this one. As now Umpty looking again at the axe, and that wall is going to absolutely make quick work of him. And they also get the flash out of Oscar. I'm a little bit disappointed because uh, they lost all their cool names, but Umpty just goes right on in. He's going back in, and he is very tanky here on the Sintaus. Now an ult onto Yun, just trying to zone him away, but Umpty's getting a lot of value Whoa. himself, as eventually he goes down, but now the culling comes out. As Yun is eating damage from the Baron, he nearly dies to it. And actually, we'll have to get out of here. Impact oh. also going down, and a massive snipe comes out from Noah. as another shutdown in that 1v1, and, and Yun doesn't even use his barrier. Part of why yeah. others don't do any good. Just not seeing it as a, a nice... Little play to get that uh, dredge line into the wall from June. But yeah, now we're going to have the fight breaking out once here again as Impact does have TP if they want to come into this one. And there it is, straight into the fight is now. Humanoid. Trying to turn on the Humanoid. He just runs into the enemy team and immediately dies. Whoa. But it's Impact doing the exact same thing with his TP. As down he's going to go. Cord JJ barely alive. It's only Yun. And yes, he is pretty fed, but I don't think he can go 1v4 here as Umpty trying to provide a front line. Oscar going Eddie? in by himself. Umpty now trying to really provide that front line. Devil go core. And Umpty is just a little bit too low. Young, desperate to try to 1v4, but it's not happening. That's now the Ornalt is coming from downtown. I feel like Team Liquid, they had control of this game, but immediately the fights got messy, and that's where Fnatic are, are finding a lot of success. I mean, core. But now, I mean, this is why you actually got to play some of those scrims so you can look for opportunities like this. Well, they're trying to go all in onto the Nautilus. This time, the uh, Equalizer will come down as the Orn ult is pretty good here from Oscar in him, but there's just no follow-up. 20 minutes. It's been hovering somewhere between one and a half and two and a half, and now Impact getting caught. <laughs> Yeah, he's just uh, immediately caught here. He tries to flash away as now Oscar in is going to be looking for the finisher. And he will get it as Resort actually gets the kill. And now Umpty just baited in. He's going to be taken down. A lot of damage is done by the calling, but it's now 3v5 for TL. has found so many angles even from behind and now that he's ahead he's like okay now it's time to go on the hunt and June oh. does an excellent job and uh well right as i'm saying resort's doing well he just immediately dies and now we get a huge equalizer over the top we do see the orn ultimate also going to try to peel for the team as we do see june going down but now yun taking Whoa. out Upti going way too deep but now apa is going to get the flank here and maybe it's enough as apa will take out the corky finally as oscar in it alone 1v2 and can he do much here will he take down core jj it's looking pretty likely as he does go unstoppable and there is the knock up but oh. another one is the seismic shove apa does deny the kill Maybe then the rest of the team just takes you down. So it does feel like Fnatic's Ooh. in a pretty good spot, although Rezark nearly does die. And now they're calling, and he has to flash away. Meanwhile, Impact. on the top side, Impact's in a lot of trouble, but the Equalizer is good. And now a fight potentially brewing here. As so that's nice. a very nice seismic stuff to come out from the side of Team Liquid. But now Umpty in a lot of trouble. Does tank up a huge amount of the damage. And now Resort is back into the fight. Does take down Core. And the AoE damage from the way is huge. But now they go way too deep. Uh, done with the desk segment. But um, 
You know, anybody can still win this game, funnily enough, from this position. Yeah. As uh, not a lot of vision there for Team Liquid. And now, right as they say that, it looks like Fnatic getting massive engaged. But now the frontline June Ooh, have been in trouble. Razor has to jump away. And now the equalizer is pretty good. Going to try to cut them off as Humanoid in an awkward spot. But not dead yet. Team Liquid has the inside track towards the mid lane. And Fnatic, very low. It'd be very hard to do this, Baron. They're trying to corral them. And Team Liquid are doing a pretty good job of that. The Flash comes in, Impact in a bit of trouble, trying to get away from this one. Umpty, though, frontlining for Yun on the top side of this fight. The Fnatic is not, in fact, hitting the bear, and that means that it is Team Liquid's turn to do so, trying to make sure that nobody can teleport back in. Trying to get this fight going again, and Dune is in a ton of trouble! He just goes down! And that's gonna be the end of that TL. They force Fnatic. And also looking to potentially break the record for the longest game in the same series as now. Trying to frontline uh -oh. here, Umpty in a lot of trouble. Will Crescent Garden try to get away from this one, but the knockup once again as Oscar in and will assassinate him. But now the knockup comes out when Oscar's in a bit of trouble. He has to get away. The equalizer is huge. You really? The frontline is just melting here on the oh. side of Fnatic. Everybody is super low. How that a flash forward from Yun is enough to take the double kill. And now Noah's like desperately trying to hold on to this mid lane but eventually he should go down as he's just poked away by Stones and maybe Team Liquid, they just end the game here. It took 37 minutes for Team Liquid to remember how much of a lead they had early on in this game. It is only Razor left to try and defend Fnatic's life in this tournament. He needs to do a miracle play right now if they want to keep on their key. I just don't think he's got enough. You know, maybe if this was Ziggs or Anivia or something, but Kha'Zix not looking good for him as Team Liquid Took them quite a while in game number two, but it will be the 2-0 victory to take the series up against Fnatic. Not quite and enough to get them over the line. TL getting the 2-0, forcing the key handover. And uh, I just got a <clears throat> little thing I got to get off yeah, my chest. Please. Oh, say can you see by the times are... Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's <laughs> enough. Uh, again, I, we, we of do... the EWC and yep. Oh, damn. There it goes. Fanatics key and their tournament lives. It. That would not fit back in.